Don't forget to like and subscribe! Uh, what's your name, buddy? Are you here to buy some medicine? Where are your mom and dad? Are you lost? No, I'm not. Um, my name's Ayu, and I'm here because... Because... Hey there, Chi-Chi! Hi, Gwei! What's going on? You know, just found this lost kid. Nothing... Nothing new. Hi, Traveler and Paimon. Ah, uh, you've actually come at the perfect time. This little boy seems to have gotten himself lost. I think he must be new to the city. Probably wandered away from his parents and... No, listen to me! I'm not the one who's lost. It's my dad. Oh. Okay. Your dad? How does a fully grown man manage to get lost in Leela Harbor? Uh, I mean... New in the harbor? Well, my dad's always been kind of forgetful. Or just in the that. Past, he was just a little slow to react sometimes. But I'm worried that it's getting more serious. Oh, okay. So, what about your mom? Good she question. She went out a few days ago to gather some herbs for my dad, but she still hasn't come back. Meanwhile, my dad's been getting worse and worse. So, okay. I remember that the owner of Boo Boo Pharmacy always runs a clinic in Chingsa Village during the Lantern Rite. So I thought, why don't I take Dad to Leeway Harbor to see him there? The owner of Boo Boo Pharmacy. When we got to the city gate, I took a moment to ask the Millilith guards for directions to the pharmacy. And then, when I turned back around, my dad was gone. Gotcha. So your dad's gone. Probably went to get some milk. Okay. And... <laughs> And your mom's at Chingsa Village I getting some herbs. to go find him, but he said they won't be able to send that many people. So then I figured maybe I can ask some other people in the city to help. I mean, you just need like one guard. It might take a while. You came to the right place. We're pros at finding people. Isn't that right, traveler? It'll be a piece of cake for us. Changshan can help. She has a good sense of smell, like a dog. Oh, okay. Does snakes have that good of smell? I mean, I guess they would have to. Hey! Who's talking about me behind my back? Cheng Sheng, Chi Chi meant that as a compliment. There's no need to be upset. Yeah, we are not talking shit, alright. We'll child. let you know. You mentioned that you were looking for the owner of Boo Boo Pharmacy. How might we be of service? You have a talking snake? Oh, are you Uncle Baiju? Yes, sir. <laughs> Uncle Baiju? Cheng Sheng, now's not the time. My dear boy, could you tell me more about your father's condition? As much as you can recall. Is Cheng Sheng like a menace? <laughs> Does she have sass? I hope so. Yes, Uncle... Uh, Dr. Baiju. Explains his father's health situation to Baiju. And your family lives near Chingsa Village, you say? I visit patients there frequently, but I don't recall ever seeing you or your parents. Uh-huh. My mom doesn't like meeting other people, especially during Lantern Rite. She always tells me to just stay at home and keep my dad company. That sucks. Lantern Rite's great. Hmm. Is that so? Are you? By any chance, is your mother's name Jiangli? Whoa, yeah, it is. Do you know my mom, Dr. Baiju? I certainly do. Gui, Chi Chi, are there any pressing matters in the pharmacy at the moment? Ayu's parents are old acquaintances of mine, so I would very much like to assist with the search. Would the two of you have time to join me? Both people? Who's gonna run the pharmacy? Oh, really? Well, that's wonderful. We are most grateful for your support. You can count on us. Chi-Chi and I need to clear up the shop front first, but once that's taken care of, we'll be right out to help you with the search. Family is very important. Thank you. Then I'll leave you to handle the pharmacy. Traveler, right. Paimon, why don't you come with me and Ayu? Let's start by talking to the Millilith guards at the city gates, see if they have an update. Alrighty, let's go talk to him. The Heart of Healing. Alright. What do y'all have to say? Family. We have to find them. 
Did you, say you believe that little boy brought his father all this way to see the doctor? Oh, what a remarkable child. I didn't even know how to buy medicine by myself when I was his age. Well, that's because you're... Never mind. You're fine. You're fine. They searched to the north, but couldn't find anyone who matched the description. <sighs> well, that complicates things. And the city folks say there's no sign of him either. We need to start looking further afield. But where are we going to get the people? We volunteer a tribute. Excuse me, sirs. Have you found out anything about my dad yet? Ah, hey there, buddy. Dr. Baiju. What brings you out this way? The boy asked for our help, so we're here to join the search. Any new developments to update us on? Oh, thank goodness. We were just discussing how we're running out of manpower. Is it me or they're always running out of manpower? Like, they say that a lot. As for updates... I'm sorry to say that we've searched the surrounding area thoroughly, but didn't find anything. The guards at the crossing up ahead said they hadn't seen anyone either, so we don't believe he was heading towards the Gwaili Plains. But it is possible that he was bound for Luhua Pool. Luhua Pool? The terrain there can be tricky to navigate. Let's hope he hasn't run into any trouble. We'll take that area. Where is that again? You will. Oh, great. We can't thank you enough. Sorry we weren't able to find your dad, buddy. That's okay. Thank you for trying. Go to... Where is that? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I remember. I was thinking of... What is this? This is the one I was thinking of when they said that. All right, let's go over here. Dad! Dad, can you hear me? Is that him? I'm pretty sure it is. Oh no! Is he like... Wait, what? Watch where you're going! Hey! I didn't know who Tao was gonna be in here. Oh, dear customer, Wong Sheng Funeral Tao doesn't appreciate your patronage, but... That's funny. You needn't hasten the inevitable. Are you alright? That's such a good line. <laughs> huh? Dad! Who? Sorry, my, my, had to. Do we have here? Mm -hmm. It's the traveler in Paimon, and uh, my worst nightmare. Oh, do they not like each other? <laughs> I see she still hasn't warmed to you. <laughs> Thank you, Director Who, for saving this man. Dad, are you okay? Do you recognize me? It's me, Ayu. What's the relationship between those two? Now I'm interested. Uh, uh, you're... Are you? Uh, 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 who am I? Does he have, what, amnesia? Your name is Jia Liang, and you live just west of Qingxia Village. You were supposed to come to Liyue Harbor to see the doctor. Remember? Does that jog your memory? Oh, uh, uh, my name is Jia Liang? Uh, Liyue Harbor? See the doctor? Uh, yes, yes, I I'm Jia Liang, and I need to see the doctor. Wait, uh, why do I need to see the doctor? Because you can't remember uh -oh. who you are, sir. He seems in really bad shape. We need to get him back to Boo Boo Pharmacy right away. Or you know what he might have? He might have that, uh, I forget what it's called. Alzheimer's? I think that's what it's called. Sorry, Hotel. Gotta Correct go. me if I'm Dinner's wrong. Next time. Hold on a second. You're not seriously thinking of taking him to Boo Boo Pharmacy in this state, are you? Huh? Why not? What's the problem? Come on, Baiju. Don't tell me you haven't noticed it. Didn't your master teach you how to spot the signs? Why do I get the sense that you spotted them right away, but you're planning to use it for your own ends? 
<laughs> oh. Who tells Colin buys you out? Use what? What are you talking about? Uh, Paimon's lost. Yeah, is Baiju... <laughs> friend or foe? There are traces of god remains in Jia Liang's system. Oh, yes, but more importantly, they're on the verge of an outburst. If that happens, the consequences will be unthinkable. Paimon, sorry, what? What does he even mean? G god remains? Explain yourself. Hmm. There's no need to worry, Director Hu. I have methods of keeping them at bay. It is the sworn duty of all who practice medicine to cure illnesses and save lives. What reason would I have to neglect a patient in need who is right there in front of me? Besides, it was my late master's dying wish to be able to save this patient in particular. Perhaps oh, okay. out of respect for him, you could give me a day's grace so that I have time to treat him? Now you're bringing my great uncle into this? Baiju, just what are you planning this time? Great uncle. <sighs> Merely to cure this man, nothing more. But of course, if you have any doubt as to my intentions, you are more than welcome to accompany me to Boo Boo Pharmacy and monitor my activities. I hope she comes with us. Oh, really? I thought I was persona non grata at Boo Boo Pharmacy. You're being unusually generous today. Don't forget that we're here too. We won't let things get out of hand. Okay, deal. We're not gonna solve anything by keeping Jia Liang here. I'm happy to do it your way, but only for my great uncle's sake and the travelers, of course. You must be pleased you brought the traveler along. Otherwise, this would have been a much more vexing ordeal. Yeah, we're, we're pretty good at peacekeeping, you know? Well, time is of the essence. Let's get ourselves back to Boo Boo Pharmacy at once. The group returns to the back room at Boo Boo Pharmacy. Okay. Hmm, blockages within the cardiovascular system. Reduced blood flow and energy circulation. I see. I suppose this must have caused the cognitive abnormalities. Dr. Baiju? How bad is it? Can you cure him? Yeah, uh, what, the god's remains? Whatever the hell that means. Baiju's a really great doctor. He's sure to find a way. Isn't that right, Baiju? Ayu, do you know when your father first started displaying these symptoms? Um, I'm not sure. He's been like this for as long as I can remember. But it wasn't as bad as this when I was still little. So it's progressively getting worse. Hmm. So it's been a long time indeed. Is it a grim prognosis? No. I have a treatment plan in mind. We can start tonight. Come and see me again tomorrow morning. I promise that by then, Ayu will find his father healthy and lucid again. Thank you, Dr. Oh, Baiju. Okay. Thank you so much. If you still have any misgivings, Director Hu, please feel free to hang around for as long as you wish. However, it would be best if you step outside this room. A doctor must be able to focus when treating a patient. Any distractions heighten the risk of complications. Yes, of course, absolutely. I'll just go and look at the flowers or something. But I will be back in an instant at the first sign that something's amiss. We'll be heading out now, too. See you tomorrow, Baiju and Chung Chung. Bye for now, everyone. Are you ready, Baiju? Ready as I'll ever be. I'm used to it by now. Come on, let's get started. Used to, used to what? What do you do? <laughs> As well that ends well, huh? Uh, no, not no? particularly. I was kind of curious after hearing Baiju mention those people from his past. What do you think they were like? You mean Baiju's master? Yeah. You must be curious too, right? Let's go see what we can find out while Baiju's busy treating Ayu's dad. Yeah, but let's ask uh, Hu Tao. Ask around for info? Um, okay. <sighs> Shh. 
sure. Oh, there she is. Okay. What? Okay. <laughs> They're gonna oh, not really glide all the way down, are they? Admiring the scenery, the spectacled snake bedecked docks doing surgery. Hello, you busy bees, and what do you have to discuss with the funeral director today? Um, so, about your guys' past, right? Actually, don't tell me. Let me guess. Hmm, from the looks on your faces, you've got some questions for me. <laughs> Guilty as charged. So, um, we were just a little curious about Baju's master. What was he like? Oh, and also, how come you and Baiju could tell so quickly that Jia Liang had God remains in his system? Which we still don't know what that means. Uh-huh. I thought I told you once before. Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor was first founded to fight back against the vengeful wrath of gods defeated in war. Oh, that vaguely rings a bell, but the details are hazy. <laughs> no, I remember. Well, it is a dusty old tale by this point. Long story short, in the ancient world, dead gods were acting up. So our ancestors started purifying the air and burning the bodies of the deceased to guard the border between life and death. These days, we don't deal with the wrath of the gods anymore, but all the relevant know-how is still passed down to each generation. So we can identify gods' remains when we see them. Okay, okay. Luna gets it now. Wait, so how did Baiju learn to spot them? And what is the god's remains? It's so vague. Almost certainly from his master, who was also my great uncle. Baiju's master was my grandpa's younger brother, a former deputy director of Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor. Wow, fancy that! Huh. Uh, so, if he was from Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor, how did he end up as Baiju's master? According to my grandpa, he and my great uncle once went traveling together when they were young. They ended up at Chen Yu Vale where they met a pharmacist. That pharmacist must have cast some sort of spell on my great uncle. Because after that encounter, he suddenly announced he wanted to leave the family business and go practice medicine instead. Okay. My grandpa had a huge argument with him. But he couldn't convince them to stay. So my grandpa inherited the funeral parlor, while my great uncle stayed in Chen Yu Vale to practice medicine. They never spoke to each other again. Oh wow. Funeral director to doctor is a pretty big career change. Kinda hard to imagine. But why did it drive a wedge between them for the rest of their lives? That seems a bit extreme. Yeah. A bit overdramatic, or they just didn't think about it? If he had just become a regular doctor, there would have been no issue. After all, the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor wasn't unlike a regular doctor's clinic in the early days. But according to my grandpa, the pharmacist they met had a very ominous aura about him. And on top of that, the kind of medicine practiced in the Chen Yu Vale tradition goes against the natural order of things. Okay. In what way? Yeah, what is that? What do you mean exactly? No, my grandpa didn't know the specifics. And you've seen how wary Baiju is around me. He'd never tell me anything. But even that says to me that he definitely has something to hide. One thing I do know about Baiju is that he's obsessed with the idea of immortality. But whether that has anything to do with what he's hiding is hard to say. Immortality? Anyway, so I will be sticking around here for now to keep a close eye on the situation. Maybe tomorrow I'll finally figure out what he's up to. Fascinating. After all that, it seems like we have more questions than answers. Right. Oh, uh, while you're here, have either of you seen Chi Chi around? Don't do it's it. Not every day I get to infiltrate Baiju's lair, but alas, I didn't catch a single glimpse of her anywhere. Aha! Uh -huh. What if Baiju knew I'd be on the lookout for her and hid her away in advance? 
leave Chi Chi alone. Alright, let's let's wait. Dad! Are you feeling better? Uh huh? Oh, are you? Dad, you remember me! Yes, I remember now. Oh, are you? I'm so sorry. You must have been worried sick. Has your mom shown up yet? She's been gone for a while, hasn't she? Oh yeah, can't forget about the mom. Don't worry, Dad. I got the Adventurers Guild to help us look for her. And Dr. Baiju's gonna help too. Right now, all you need to do is concentrate on getting better. Great. That's wonderful. I can't thank you enough, Dr. Baiju. My pleasure, really. It's the least I can do to honor my late master's dying wish. If anything, I should be apologizing to you for not making the time to visit in all these years. <laughs> not at all, Dr. Baiju. It's only because Jiang Li... Uh... Hmm... What was her reason again? You're still in the early stages of recovery, recovery. Okay. so you'll need to take it easy for a while. Take it slowly and try not to overexert yourself. I suggest you stay at Boo Boo Pharmacy and rest for at least the next few days. Director Hu, do you have any further reservations about Jia Liang's condition? Yeah, is everything on the up and up? Uh, it seems like the evil presence is gone after all. You really did manage to suppress it, huh? But how did you accomplish this in a single night? <laughs> that would be a trade secret, I'm afraid. Uh, okay. If that gives you any cause for concern, you may continue to monitor Jia Liang for as long as you wish. So definitely hiding something, okay. Though I regret to say that Boo Boo Pharmacy cannot offer to reimburse Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor for any revenue lost in the meantime. Oh, come on, Baiju. I'm not that unreasonable. Ah. Baiju looks a little worse for wear. Something's yeah. wrong. I've been stuck indoors for too long. Baiju, take me outside for some air, or I'm going to suffocate. Ah, yes, of course. Everyone, please excuse Changsheng and myself for a moment. Weird, okay. <coughs> Does he, like, use his own life or something? I don't Suffering know. Suffering now, are we? Did you see? Seriously expect to cover it up just by putting on a brave face and ignoring it? If it weren't for my quick thinking, they'd have all seen the sorry state you're in by now. <sighs> but in any case, why must you keep this a secret from everybody? You should at least share your secret with one person you trust. Let us introduce ourselves. Who's there? It's me. Why did you follow us here? I thought you were looking a little unwell. Oh, <laughs> it's nothing. I just needed to get some air. <coughs> yeah, okay. What did I just say about putting on a brave face? <sighs> Traveler, Paimon, the truth is, Baiju did not cure Jia Liang's illness. I'll just come out and say it, okay. Instead, he transferred some of his own life force to his patient to temporarily subdue the poison Shut up, cat! The system. One second, y'all. Life force? Poison? <sighs> Baiju, can you please explain all of this? Yeah, what? What My do you do? What's happening? in medicine forged a contract with Changsheng. Every successor to this contract is able to use Changsheng's secret art to treat patients. Okay, so the snake is doing the healing. I believe the irregularities with Jia Liang's heart meridian were likely caused by a poison concocted using god remains as a key ingredient. The poison has not been purged from Jia Liang's system. Rather, I infused him with some of my own life force using Changsheng as the delivery medium. This will suppress the poison's effects for a limited time. 
how limited. Changsheng? You can do that? Huh. Paimon always thought you were just Baiju's strange choice of a necklace. Hey, I'll have you know that I commanded the respect of even the Adepti back in Chen Yu Vale. If anything, he is my mannequin. I was treating patience with Baiju's master's master long before he ever set eyes on his first medical text. So is Changsheng like a, a an adeptus or no? Or is she something different? Oh, guess you shouldn't judge a snake by its skin. Please, I guess that's not. enough. <laughs> you're looking even worse now than before. Are you sure Wait you're okay? Huta was saying that the branch of medicine you studied uses some pretty dubious methods. So, when you transfer your life force, does that mean you're actually damaging your own body? I mean, it must. Hardly. <laughs> Changsheng helps to keep my chi in balance, so there is no great harm done. Still, Baiju's life force is not unlimited. He must find a way to neutralize the poison in Jialyang's body. And soon. Traveler, Paimon, would you lend this dummy a hand? He needs someone checking up on him, or he'll exhaust himself trying to accomplish everything on his own. <sighs> Go on, Baiju, let us help you. Yeah, let's... Baiju. Don't you Pride think is a sin, my friend. Seize this opportunity. You cannot expect to hide this from everyone for your entire life. Time will see that all secrets surface eventually. And we will get the, to the bottom of it. We always do. Entire okay. life. Thank you, Traveler and Paimon. Huh. Paimon doesn't think we've seen this side of you. But there's no need to thank us. You've helped us out before. So what are the next steps? The poison in Jialiang's system must have accumulated over a prolonged period. I think I should pay a visit to their family home and look for clues as to how he might have been exposed to it. Do you know where his house is? Yes. I asked Ayu this morning before you arrived. He told me that his family lives in a secluded spot to the west of Qingsa village. Let's head there together once I've asked Gui and Chi Chi to look after the pharmacy. As well as investigating right. Jia Liang's exposure to the poison, we should also keep an eye out for Ayu's missing mother, my fellow disciple, Jiang Li. Oh, that's how you know her. Okay, I gotcha. Yeah, it's very I out of the way. I don't think I've ever been here. Nor have I. And I've hosted clinics at Qingsa Village many times in the past, if you ask me. Jiang Li was trying to remain unnoticed. Oh, that reminds Paimon. We meant to ask earlier, but it slipped our minds in the rush to get here. Could you tell us more about Jiang Li? You said she was your fellow disciple, right? She was indeed. We studied medicine together under the same master near Chen Yu Vale. She is several years older than I and also began her travels far earlier than me. As a result, the time I spent studying alongside her was rather short. I see. Supposedly, she met an herb gatherer sometime during her travels and decided to settle down with him. That must have been Jia Liang. I would Wait, think that makes sense. Changsheng, are you saying neither of you had actually met Jia Liang or Ayu before all of this? Jiang Li did occasionally come back to Chen Yu Vale to see our master, but for whatever reason, she hardly ever talked about her family. Oh, okay. The last time kind she of visited weird. us, she and master had some sort of quarrel. We never heard from her after that. It almost seemed as if she'd gone into hiding. Quarrel? What happened? I don't know. I did not witness the argument myself. Nor did Master ever explain it to me. All he would say is that should I ever encounter Jiang Li or her family in the future, I should do everything in my power to help them. Vague and 
ominous sounding. Oh, okay. So that's why you went to such extreme lengths to help Jialiang. No. Even if my master had never said anything, it would still be my duty as a doctor to help him. Right. My decision I mean, would have course. remained the same. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> I'm, I never knew you were so selfless, Baiju. Paimon always had you down as the sneaky scheming type. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> so a few words from me is enough to dispel all your suspicions? Hmm? You ought not be quite so quick to relax your guard, Paimon. Sometimes even the good guys have their own private agenda. True. What the? Okay, that was the most suspicious sounding thing you've <laughs> yeah, ever Yeah, I think had. that was the point. <laughs> <laughs> Let's leave the idle chatter there for now. Hmm? Jiang Li has lived in this house for many years. There must be something here that can shed a little light on this whole situation. Let's split up. But if anyone finds anything, we'll examine it together. Sounds good. Let's go find whatever we're looking for. <laughs> Several faint marks can be seen on the pillar. Maybe you'll use to record I use height as he grew up. There's some faded writing near the bottom mark. The more quickly Ayu grows up, the sooner can leave. Ayo, hey, what? Judging by the number of marks on the pillow, the family has led to secluded, a secluded existence here for many, many years. Okay. The firewood is neatly stacked and the logs were cut with great power and precision. Some logs at the bottom of the pile have begun to rot. It must have been a while since any new wood has added to the pile. <sighs> Die with child, okay. Some roof tiles broke. Mom and I tried to get up and take a look, but we didn't manage. Luckily, Dad was able to fix them in no time. The dinner table was a bit wobbly today when we sat down to eat. Dad tried to fix it, but ended up breaking one of the legs by accident. Yeah, it happens. <laughs> Dad's forgetting things again. I'll have to write it all down for now and read it back to him when he's feeling a bit better. Traveler, Paimon! Come quick! Oh, what's happening? Wh what is this? Chung Shung and I found a hidden compartment. This is what was hidden inside. God's remains? Huh. Question mark. You sense it too? You're right. This is a poison concocted using God remains. Where would one get God remains? You know what I mean? Uh, like, where is would you get that? Breathing? Paimon's not seeing things, is she? No. Your eyes do not deceive you. I do believe the poison in this bottle is... alive. Some toxins act a lot like living organisms. I read about this once in the origins and symptoms of diseases. This ancient class of poisons consists of mother and minor loads, capable of sustaining a connection over vast distances. If it's a concoction of this kind we're dealing with, then both the poison in Jia Liang's system and this one here are likely minor loads. Offshoots, essentially. Offshoots? So, the main body is somewhere else? Correct. Whoever is administering the poison can manipulate the source to indirectly control the poisoned individual's behavior and even cognition. Similarly, the Ash poisoned individual will hear, to a varying extent, the call of the source. The call Weird. Of the... Okay. Wait. So back when Jia Liang ran off, maybe that explains where he was heading. He was going back towards Qingsa village. Only one thing could have been drawing him there. The source of the god remains used as the poison's key ingredient. The mother load. Ugh. This is getting crazier and crazier. What kind of person would do all this just to poison Jia Liang? Maybe the wife or the mom? <clears throat> hey, why has everyone gone quiet all of a sudden? Since this poison was carefully hidden away in a secret compartment, the one who concocted it is likely a resident of the house. I mean, mom's only person. You mean, Jia Liang? Why would he poison himself? 
think a little harder, Paimon. Someone else who lives here. And who might have expertise in crafting drugs. Come on, Paimon, keep up. Huh? So you're saying... <gasps> it was Jiang Li? Wait, but... That doesn't make any sense either! Why would she poison her own husband? I agree. It makes little sense. Jiang Li does not strike me as the kind of person who would do such a thing. Look at the facts, though. How many people in the entirety of Li Yue have the ability to concoct a poison from God remains? About to take a guess, not a lot. Mm. It's too early to draw any conclusions. We should question Jia Liang about it once he has made more progress in his recovery. Do you know of a method to neutralize the poison? Yes. According to the origins and symptoms of diseases, the minor loads will disappear if the mother load is purged. So we have to, what, find the god remains body? And what, burn it? So if we can find and destroy the source of these god remains, oh, okay. the poison will leave Jia Liang's system without the need for any further treatment. Do you know anything about god remains in Qingsa village? I've only heard the rumors, nothing concrete. I haven't heard anything, uh, but it's been forever since I explored the Chinks of Village, books so... Have no record of this. The only ones who'll know anything are those old fogies who have been hanging around here since the beginning of time. Hmm. Didn't you used to be on good terms with the Adepti, though? You sure they didn't tell you anything about this? Well, uh... <clears throat> Changsheng's memories and powers are not what they were in her prime. These days, she has to enter a contract with a mortal and share their life force just to sustain her own life. I fear that such ancient events are long gone from her memory by now. So she's like a freaking parasite? Whoa. What? Enter a contract? Share life force? Sounds like some pretty spooky sorcery if you ask Paimon. Sounds like a pact. Hey! Plenty of people would jump at the chance to join forces with a powerful being like me. With my assistance in rebalancing your chi, not only can you extend your lifespan, but you will also be stronger, healthier, and able to eat whatever you like with no risk of upsetting your stomach. Stronger and healthier? Wow, that's amazing! It's alright. Uh, Baiju, maybe when you retire, you can let Paimon sign a contract with Changsheng for a few days. <laughs> uh, I don't think that's just a few days contract thing. I think that's like Unfortunately, Changsheng's contract has strict requirements regarding the host's temperament. Ah, None okay. of her hosts have ever been exempted from these rules. I fear that I will be unable to accommodate your wishes, Paimon. Temperament? trying to say? Did you just subtly insult Paimon to her face? <laughs> I think you're just proving uh, her point. Strange. Baiju has a weak constitution. How do we know? How do we know that? And didn't his master pass away at an early age? Ugh, Paimon's mad! You're getting ugly nicknames, both of you! Oh Baiju, my god. you're mannequin man! This is exactly why your natural temperament makes you woefully unsuited to being my host. Yeah, so like I said, you're just proving her point. All right, everybody, calm down. Back to the matter at hand. Is there any way at all for us to seek counsel from the Adepti about this? Oh, is this where we call Xiao again? I just saw, like, a title or a thumbnail on YouTube where they say they call Xiao again. social they are? If it were up to them, they'd go their whole lives without showing their faces to the common folk. Actually, um, actually, I do have someone I could call. What? <laughs> Seems you're as well connected as they say, Traveler. We are truly fortunate to have you on our side. That's a good question, Dish. I mean, we could ask Shang Li. He's an adept eye. And what was it? Gan does Ganyu and Yanfei count? I would, I would imagine they would, but they might not know anything. True. Well, Zhongli will. 
but I don't know about Ganyu and Yanfei. They might not. Oh, if you're talking about who Paimon thinks you're talking about, you better do the honors. Yeah, because they only come for the traveler and no one else. Well, unless they're in danger near the Wangshu Inn. There he is. Are you there? <laughs> you called? That's incredible. What's they going on, sir? Every time. Uh, aren't all Adepti in the habit of materializing out of thin air like this? Yes, I believe they are. They might not. I think it's just Xiao. Well, this is unexpected. Huh? It's you. Wait, how does... Baiju of Boo Boo Pharmacy. I do believe I've had the pleasure before. Really? The Lantern Rite, when we met briefly... I was unaware of your true identity. I must apologize for the discourtesy. Met briefly? Really? I don't remember that. Huh? You two already know each other? So let, let me get this right. We got Baiju, Hu Tao, Chi Chi, and Zhao. Is this like... Lantern Rite, but diet version? Lantern right light. Our paths have crossed once before. I sense the presence of evil spirits. Is this why you called me? Yes, sir. Let me explain. Actually, I wanted to ask you about dead gods. You tell Xiao everything that has happened. Hmm. So someone has been concocting demonic poison. Yeah. Too often, fervent desires drive mortals to abandon all regard for their own safety. It is lamentable. He said the thing! He said the thing! I now know what you see. Sorry. It is true that a god's remains are buried beneath the foundations of Chinksa village. A vile monster known as the Chu once wrought havoc over this land. Before it was subdued by Rex Lapis. The land was finally oh, well, cleansed ago, okay. when Rex Lapis used statues in his likeness to seal the serpent's remains. Chinksa village was founded some time after that. The seal is still mostly intact. If the Chu is the source, then it must be some of its blood leaking from deep underground. Oh, that's not good. However, its aura is faint and barely detectable. You will need to investigate further to identify the location of the leak. I do not like to intervene against mortals unless absolutely necessary. But when demonic forces are involved, Things can spiral out of control. If that happens, be sure to call my name again. Oh, you know we will. Hmm. Thank you, Xiao. Hmm? Nothing. I do not wish to okay. sign decisions that are mortals to make, but immortality may not be the blessing that you imagine it to be. Oh, Xiao knows. Okay. I shall treasure your words of instruction, Master Adeptus. Farewell. What a strange Adeptus. Rather different from the way I remember them. Yeah, he's uh, he's an interesting one. That's you for ya! And thanks to him, we finally got some concrete info to go off of. If the god remains are leaking from underground, Jiang Li must be paying a visit to a subterranean cave on her herb gathering trips. Hmm. If we can find the cave. Ma Ma Master! Master! There's a problem! Gray? Okay, Did you emergency, know what's happening? Pharmacy? Dude, that guy can run. What happened? Don't panic. Just catch your breath and tell me everything. It's. it's Jiao Yang. He was he was fine one minute and then he suddenly took a turn for the worse. Already? How? Oh, so the the temp it, it wore off. Whatever Baiju did wore off, basically. Based on past experience, he should have been fine for the next three days at least. It seems that my worst fears have been confirmed. Everyone, back to Boo Boo Pharmacy now. Oh shit. Okay. Dad, what's wrong? Dad? 
Don't be scared. Dr. Baishu will be back soon. Speaking How of which, doing? there he is. Dr. Baishu, you're back. My dad was doing fine earlier, but then he suddenly started coughing up blood. Now he can't even get a full word out anymore. When Gui left, he was still conscious. But now... Gui, please take Jia Liang to the back room and prepare for treatment. Yes, of course. Don't worry, Ayu. I will cure your father. Whatever's happening is crazy. Art again, is he? Uh, is there really no other way to save Jia Liang? I think he might be. Hold on, I know you can. Oh. Okay, but say I know you can go in the back room, but it seems that I can't. Okay. How are you feeling, Dad? Are you still hurting anywhere? You're not gonna suddenly collapse again, are you? Uh, he might. Ah, much better, are you? I'm feeling much better. In fact, I can't explain it, but somehow I feel even better than usual. Can Baiju turn up that treatment to like 11? Hmm. You know what I mean? Can he make it stronger? Wait, where's Dr. Baiju? I still haven't had a chance to thank him. Seems he moved me here before I came to. Master said he needed to take a quick rest and asked me to bring you out of the treatment room. He hasn't emerged yet, so he must still be resting. Recovering from whatever oh, he does. Oh, really? Well, he must be tired from treating me for two nights in a row. <sighs> I don't know how I can begin to repay him for saving my life. I'll have to discuss it properly with Jiang Li once we find her. Hmm... Speaking of which, uh, has there been any word of her whereabouts yet? No, nope. the adventurous Still ghost missing. hasn't gotten back to me yet. I'll go check with them again in a bit. I'll come with... <sighs> Don't forget what Master said. You're still not out of the woods yet, Jia Liang. I strongly suggest that you stay and rest at Boo Boo Pharmacy for now. I can accompany Ayu to the Adventures Guild. Or we can go. But I think we're just going to check on Baiju, to be honest. I suppose you're right. I'll have to rely on you this time. Though, on the bright side, this means I can thank Dr. Baiju in person once he's finished resting. Traveler, Baiju hasn't shown his face ever since he went in to treat Tia Liang again. Do you think he... Let's go check up on him. All right. Let's see his situation. Uh, huh? You're finally awake. <sighs> that was far too risky. Even with me here to help you balance your chi. There was no time. I had no other choice. In any case. It was not completely without benefit to myself. I managed to learn something. Jiang Li's design is quite brilliant. She makes numerous innovations that I can learn from. Alas, if only there wasn't a catch. So, how much longer do you think Baiju's gonna nap for? They've been outside waiting for you the whole time while you were asleep. Shall we at least go and show our faces? All right. I wonder what he did. Like, different compared to the last time. Surely he hasn't. There's no way he could have just... Who's talking behind our backs again? Ah! Baiju! Changsheng! Are you both okay? <sighs> of course. There's no need to be concerned. I merely had to transfer a rather large amount of life force on this occasion. Okay. But with Chang so Chung's can help, dial up to eleven. I will recover in time. Okay, that answered my question. Jia Liang seemed fine yesterday. Why did he need more life-saving treatment again so soon? 
Because whatever he did was too small of a dose, I guess. I made an error in my initial diagnosis. Jia Liang is in fact suffering from more than one ailment. Oh. Wait, what? And as a result, his life force depleted at a greater rate than I had anticipated. What? You mean, even if you got all the poison out of him, he'd still be sick? Yes. But more pertinently, the poison in Jia Liang's system is there precisely because it is being used to manage his underlying medical condition. But more pertinently, the poison in... Being used to man... So the poison's helping him? Jia Liang has a rare congenital heart condition, and ongoing treatment is essential to maintaining healthy functioning of his heart meridian. Left untreated, it puts the patient at risk of coughing up blood and fainting, and in the longer term, causes irreversible damage to the internal organs. Though it was created from God remains, this formula is not a poison in Jia Liang's case. Rather, gotcha. it's his medication. And we sucked the poison out, or we got rid of it? Had he not taken it all these years, he likely would have died a long time ago. So that's why Zhang Li did it. Still. To save her husband, using okay. Using poison to treat a disease is hardly a viable long-term solution. As time passed, and the poison accumulated in his system, it began to impact his cognition. Ah, uh, okay. Because I would imagine the body would get, uh, what is it? Like, slightly immune to it after a while? But I don't know about his cognition moreover the longer he relied upon this medicine the more resistant his body became to it oh this... jiang li had okay. to concoct ever greater quantities to ensure its continued efficacy or he could have still perished at any moment so yeah so the body does become immune to it eventually okay that explains why ayu said his dad has been giving worse and why his mom went off to gather herbs. To make it a stronger dose. God okay. remains are extremely dangerous to be around. Because humans have no natural defense against them. I shudder to think how many times Jiang Li has exposed herself to them. You know, she might finally like collapsed or whatever. Going when she was collecting I the herbs. I feel that the situation is just as that adeptus described. In an effort to save Jia Liang's life, Jiang Li has abandoned all regard for her own safety. I never suspected that even Jiang Li would turn to the same path as so many others over the years. Perhaps this is the inevitable course of fate. To sacrifice one's own life to save others. To go beyond human means in order to do the impossible. Whatever the cost may be. Fate? Well, I think that it's too early to say with any certainty what fate has in mind. In any case, I have stabilized Jia Liang's condition for now, so our immediate priority should be to get ourselves back to Qingsa Village and find out where Jiang Li is. Yeah, where that Her cave is. Her regular exposure to God remains over such a long period will have been catastrophic for her health. That's what I'm saying. She might have, like, collapsed. And given that she's already been missing for several oh. days, I am fearing the worst. Who's that? It's me, Traveler, Dr. Baiju. He heard everything. Uh, it's Jill Young! He heard all the tea. On, you overheard everything already. Oh, you know he did. Dr. Baiju, please let me come with you. You've already done so much for my family. I can no longer just sit here and watch while you put yourself at risk for Jiang Li's sake. After all, if it wasn't for me, she wouldn't have had to put herself in harm's way in the first place. I know I won't be of much help in battle, but at the very least, I can show you the way. Wait, you know where the cave is sure or whatever? I'm able to remember. I know there's a spot where she says goodbye to me every time she goes to gather her herbs. Oh, I'm sure okay. I'll remember. I, I have to remember. Be careful. If you get too agitated, your blood pressure and stress levels will rise, putting further pressure on your heart. 
for your own safety, you should stay here and rest. No! We're out of time! We have to go now. Right now. Before I forget everything again. Hmm. This trip will be extremely dangerous. And there is a very real possibility that you will not return from it. Are you sure you're prepared for that? <laughs> I never expected to live this long in the first place. My death is already long overdue. So why should I fear it? Yeah, I mean, that's... <laughs> the dead man walking, pretty much. There's only one thing I fear now. And that's that I'll forget her again before we manage to find oh, her. Oh, and who... Okay, great. Now, who Tao's eavesdropping? Okay. Very well. Then follow me. Everybody's just eavesdropping on everybody, huh? Dr. Baiju? Are you heading out again? Yes. This could be a long one. Could you please prepare a dose of the usual formula? Please add an extra measure of mist grass pollen and one dose each of the ingredients from the third and fifth compartments of my medicine cabinet. I hope it works. What, what would that make? Uh, Dr. Baishu? Do you mean... Hop to it now. And remember to be careful with the cauldron this time. You don't want to burn yourself again. That's adorable. Okay. 